Hey guys, we're back, and as you can see, Akofina and Dreadfun have left our party as we left off in the last vid. And I wonder what happened to everyone. They obviously can't be dead. Here's Vice. I accidentally skipped over a little cutscene of him waking up, but it's not much. You just see him waking up on this island. As you can see, he's just. There's the crashed lifeboat. You can examine it, and as you can see, it's destroyed and yeah anyway so then you're just on this island not much really to it you're just on an island There's a couple of things lying around here you find a random skeleton and this is really the only interesting thing on the island that we're gonna do while we're here this is a pretty boring part of the game actually because of what happens. Sorry, I'm moving my laptop around. Um, yeah. Because this is like the midpoint of the game right about now. And I think it's, we did pretty good. It took, we were only at episode 45. If I can do this within less than 100 videos, I think I'll be pretty good. But yeah, so you find this map. It's ripped in half, as we can see. And yeah. So we got Gonzalez's map. Not much else really to do on this island. But this island is an important island in the game. I'm going to tell you that right now. So there's only one high point here that you can find. And we saw it right at the beginning. We're going to want to come right up here. And then we're going to see what this whole island looks like. I'm gonna get a quick zoom out. You'll, uh, you, pr you can't really tell right now, but this island's in the shape of a crescent, like a crescent moon. So it looks pretty cool, actually. We don't have much else to do here either, so might as well teach him his new move, Skull Shield, which is an alright move actually, it's not that bad. I use it occasionally from time to time. You might not even end up seeing a video that uses it. It's a defensive special, it's pretty good. No random battles on this island, really. There's one part where we're gonna have some, but right now we don't have any. The music's very I don't know, I kind of like the music. And you can come running into this cave. And there's nothing in here. The other cave you can go to has, um... Before I actually go to sleep in this cave, I'm going to do something real quick. You come down here, and you're going to find another Moonberry. You have to do that now. If you don't do it now, you're gonna be missing out in the future. Yeah. His last, I believe, needs three or four. I'm pretty sure it's four. Because it is that good. It's probably the strongest move in the game. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, so we're gonna go to sleep here. Anyway, so, um, to all my viewers, if you guys are okay with my, um, recording with my laptop mic, I'm pretty, I, I, I like how it works, like, it's pretty good. So here's what's happening to Aka and Fina, as you can see. Because we have to see what happened to the rest of them. It's kind of funny how Aka looks so different with her hair down like that. <laughs> well, if, if, like, really, if you were there, you would probably be thinking that the idea of their death is probably a lot more prominent. I wouldn't be joking about it. 
But anyway, yeah, see? What's up with this girl? She seems way too happy. She doesn't play a big role in the game in the future, but we'll see her again. But she's an air pirate too, so we're all good. Of the blue rogues. I'm like, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of blue rogues out there. Really, would you want a girl that small on your ship firing cannons and stuff? No. No. Luckily, this next big chunk of videos I got here is, uh, is also another half hour. So it's not going to take too long. Also, um, I'm sorry for all my half videos that I release. It's just releasing half videos, I, I don't like cutting out anything that I've recorded, at least on purpose, because I need to keep some things in for the viewers, like there has to be some random battles, like I can't just cut them all out, and at the same time, like, I don't want to miss the cutscenes, because that's basically the whole idea of doing these game. the whole idea of playing <laughs> these RPGs is so you can get the go into the story, that's what RPG stands for after all, role-playing game. But I guess for right now I don't have that many followers, so soon I'll have a lot, because once there's like 90 videos on YouTube from me and then I'll start uploading my next one, I'll <laughs> easily start getting to like 200 or something in no time. I'm betting by January I'll probably be pretty far done. I'll like have at least three games done by January. That's what I'm gonna say. So now for the first time you get to play you get to run around with someone other than Vice. Ika's run is very I don't know, it's very like, oh shit, let's get out of here run. As we've seen her run like this a few times. But whatever, so we it's not much we can really do in this. You don't do much with Aka the first time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to the innkeeper. They tell us how much we pay, we say we can't. So they start a tab for us, so thank god that happened. It's so convenient. This hotel is actually kind of funny what happens in it. It's very classic comedy that we're going to run into in a little bit. Very, it's more like ironic than anything, but yeah. So, um, yeah, this video didn't have much in it. We're already, we're about a minute and a half left from <laughs> finishing, so. I'm sorry guys, but this video is not going to be that exciting for anybody. I don't even think we'll get to, we'll definitely not get into any battling before the end of this video. Now here's a, here's a funny thing, we'll get to this before the end of the video for sure. Now we'll notice that we're in Nazrad, which is obviously under the red moon. So the first little bit of dramatic irony that we're going to get real quickly is that we'll notice that Vice is also looking up at the red moon. Now that's all fine and dandy that's kind of like, oh that's cool, we're looking up at the red moon, we're both within the same area, but the, f the thing is, we crashed in Valua a pretty big distance away from where we are right now. When you get to see the map, you'll see. Even from Nazrad, that's a pretty big difference. Like, you have no idea. When we start playing, when we finally get a ship again. Because we obviously will, like, this game, like it's not really a spoiler, it's kind of obvious. So one thing you want to do quickly is run back into this cave here. You can't have done this before you decide to go to sleep, but there's a cave, there's a chest that has 1827 gold. Whatever guys, see ya.